Nicolas from uh, Stupeflix, a presentation on video and API. Thank you. So, so first, uh, in a few seconds, I'll explain what Stupeflix is because uh, an API to create video is not a very common thing. So, I'll show you a few examples. Um, so basically, using Stupeflix API, you can uh, create video automatically at a large scale using photos, videos, music, text, maps, any kind of media. So you submit all that, all of those to, to our API. And in a few seconds, we, we create a, a video based on your template, uh, on complex uh, scenes or animation that you would have described beforehand. Uh, let me show you a few examples of that. Uh, for instance, our demo reel. So those are templates for consumers. This is the office in Paris. This is my co-founder. This is the team. This is me kitesurfing. This was a campaign for Bacardi or Havana Club. This was one for Samsung, I think, for the Super Bowl. Something for Instagram. A small experiment with Facebook. An automated video bill for Vodafone. This is uh, a quick glance at our web application for consumers. So, to go back to the API. So, the API was our first product. Today we have a web application and soon an iPhone application, but the API was the uh, really our first product, and uh, we are a team of engineers, so we knew nothing about APIs and business and anything like that. <laughs> so we've learned a few lessons along the way. Uh, so um, six lessons, but I'll uh, dig uh, into each of them very quickly. So first one, dev developers look for solutions, not APIs. So when developers have a problem, they don't... Uh, go look into um, an API directory, or they don't Google for uh, API about uh, X or X, they usually try to build the thing themselves. So they, they go to Stack Overflow, uh, for instance, but um, yeah, mostly they, they try to, to build uh, what they need by themselves. So you're the, the first thing that you would have to do is not uh, optimize for AdWords or, or things like that, but engage with the, the community of developers and try and, uh, uh, and understand their needs, for instance, do blog posts or things like that. And you must show front and center on your website your solution, not, not your API. You mustn't talk API, but solution. So for instance, here, uh, we have an API that transforms uh, an audio file into uh, the, the picture of uh, the waveform, the corresponding waveform. So we show uh, what goes in, what goes out, and uh, what you can build upon it. For instance, here, to give you a live example, I'm not sure I have some network, but that's the kind of task that you would submit to the API. Very so two line of XML, and here you see that's uh, just a description of the short movie that I have on the right. Uh, the esen essential part of that is the the URL of the movie, and it's a, it's a simple video trim. Let's see a, an example that's a bit more, for instance, video reverse. Here, that's the, the original video. And here, 
it's the reversed video. So it's it's just one API call to to reverse the video. And here, if I were to know the URL of another video, I could change it right here uh, in the form, and uh, the my new video would appear here, and the reversed video will appear here in under a second. So we really try to to put front and center uh, a demo of uh, how things work for for the developers, and not talk about uh, API for for hours. Um, so your customers are your biggest competitors because, uh, so as I just said, they, they try to build uh, the solution themselves. They evaluate how long and how expensive it will be to build, maintain, and host uh, the service instead of buying it from you. But your biggest competitors <coughs> are your best marketers as well. So at the beginning, there, there, there was a company in the US called Animoto. And when you were searching on Google for video API, uh, that's what you would find. So this competitor, Animoto, and uh, they had uh, an offer that was an offering that was very obscure. So you had to contact them and uh, pay 30k dollars upfront just to be able to test the API. So we built our offering in reaction to that. Um, we took the opposite direction exactly. Uh, you could uh, try the. Um, the API, you can today try our API for free without even even contacting us. Uh, you can just put your email address and you're done. You're, you're, you're set to go. You can try all the, the API calls that I showed you. And the entry price point is uh, $30 per month, not $30K. You can't create demand. You, you don't change one's roadmap, another lesson. Uh, so our API is super useful for folks in photo sharing, real estate, uh, travel, uh, e-commerce. So we, you would figure that you can meet with the top 500 of those companies, and then they will, you will do loads of deals. But as it turned out, uh, uh, people. Uh, quite often don't have uh, an immediate need for, for your solution. So you, you talk with them for months and, and years and, and uh, some <coughs> quite a lot of time. Most of the time, nothing happens. So that, uh, that was the case with uh, HP. We talked with HP for like three years and uh, the, the employee, the the executive that we were talking to uh, just left the company. <laughs> uh, so it's uh, yeah, it's rather responding, being being very responsive to inbound calls rather than uh, uh, being being very aggressive uh, on the on the outreach. In our case, at least, pressing is positioning. So at first we had. Um, uh, quite a high price point, uh, uh, $1,500 per month. Uh, so we could serve a few customers that were ready to, willing to commit on, on a high, high, um, uh, high bill. But uh, progressively, we lowered uh, the, the entry price point and, uh, and the addressable market is much bigger. So of course, it's a trade-off, but uh, for us, at least, uh, it proved much more successful to, to address uh, uh, a bigger market with, uh, a, a lo with lower prices. So have public pricing, always free tier, start with low hanging, high value, uh, talk to customers to understand what they, what they need. So we had bad marketing, bad marketing, but great support. We still have bad marketing, I guess. When you have a very high public price and a contact us button, you initiate a conversation instantly, of course, because you get tons of email of uh, people trying to talk you into lowering your, your price for their super interesting project. 
uh, in the same spirit, when you have uh, no dated or incomplete documentation and a contact us button, you get to talk to, to your customer or would-be customers because they, they cannot understand the documentation. I'm not <laughs> implying that you should uh, remove critical info from your documentation on purpose. <laughs> I rather mean that you should um, rush to, to release something, to launch your API and your documentation, be it incomplete, and then uh, you complete it along the way using uh, your user's feedback. Uh, so at first, uh, the only people who would put a um, significant amount of money in your service are your investors and not your, your customers, or you can do a bit of service. Uh, that's why it says start here. It's on the higher end of the, <coughs> the, 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 the price tag. And so yeah, that's why, that's why it, I explained earlier for us, what worked is uh, decreasing API prices and increasing service fees, uh, also to avoid turning into a, a service uh, bespoke uh, web agency. Uh, build great consumer apps. Yeah, it's it's very inspiring for your uh, users and the customers of your API, but also it allows you to do permanent testing, test the uptime, the scalability, and reliability. So in our case, we have a web application, a bit similar to iMovie, that you can use online. And uh, we have about uh, like 6,000 videos uh, generated each day on that consumer web app, and uh, about one million users per month. So it's a decent test for scalability. So there it is, a few lessons that we, we learned along the way. Now I'll uh, show you a few more videos um, so that uh, you can understand what the API is about a bit better, and then take questions. So. This one was a campaign for Havana Club. That's a video that you can customize. So all the text that appear on screen and several of the images, the tag on the wall, uh, it can be dynamically changed even the, the photo on the wall, the text here, the, the video in that frame, the tattoo on the arm of that guy, the text here. So basically you send uh, the template of your video, of your ad, to, to our API, and then along that you send your text and your images, your videos, your music and it generates uh, the video in real time, so in a few seconds. So you can generate millions of them. And uh, as a matter of fact, Sprint, the telco <coughs> operator in the US, generates, uh, generated about three million videos uh, recently um, for, for a campaign. And the, late, the latest campaign was for Red Bull. It's still live. You just plug your Instagram account, and if you go to redbulltheshow.com, uh, maybe there is no sound on this Everyone one. Everyone takes pictures with their phone, but only few are good enough for global fame. Welcome to Red Bull The Show. So it takes your friends and... This artist has shaped film photography as we know it. As one of the integrate first Integrate my profile picture. Lots of uh, food porn, my ski trip. So all my Instagram pictures, they were my favorite? That one. included These in the video uh, instantly. Perfect. Well, the show captures the hearts of the crowd here. The artist is quickly so, And that's not flash, so it's a real video, an MP4 that you can uh, share with friends very easily on Facebook and YouTube. They keep this up. People are commenting on this one more than any other. The rise filter. This makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs>
Tonight, one photographer taught us that we could be inspired by everyday photographs. But it doesn't matter if it was captured. So that's what the website of the campaign looked like. Uh, it's, it's really a one button website. You just uh, hit connect my Instagram account, and uh, after one minute, you end up with uh, the video I just showed you. And it's really the, the work of uh, this API. So here uh, it's the, the main uh, API call, video.create, uh, to, to create a more complex, mo complex movie. Uh, I won't uh, dig into the, the detail, but here you can see that I'm applying an effect. And then uh, the, the file name of the videos that I want to process, I can change the duration. So that's a very simple XML, but it can get super complex. And if you're familiar with video editing and you know the suite of logiciel from Adobe, the, so our API is compatible with After Effects. So you can create an After Effects template and uh, submit it to the API and generate millions of videos, of different videos based on that After Effects template. So that's it. Thank you, and uh, I'd be happy to answer your questions if you have some. We do have time for a few questions. Yeah? Yes. It's, it's real time, but it's still, uh, there is a delay of three, four seconds. Uh, so maybe using a buffer, we could uh, process something using a, a live stream of video. But uh, we've never done it uh, on a large scale. Like. 